Hi everyone, back after a, well, it feels like a long break. And uh, yeah, a lot's kind of been going on, obviously, in the world. And um, due to my job, which um, some of you might know from Twitter tweets in the past, that uh, unfortunately uh, I work in the public sector. And it means that um, I'm having to do a lot of overtime recently with... Um, work in regards to uh, these protests that are going on um, and having to basically look after those. So um, Automobilista 2 has gone through a, a couple of updates over the last couple of weeks and I've just basically not got around to doing any videos so I thought we'd get up to date with 0.9.7 and that's pretty much as up to date as it can be for AMS2 as we speak. If you're new to the channel, uh, I'm kind of sort of concentrating a bit on AMS2 at the moment because it's kind of a game that's pretty much almost ready for full release. Uh, you're looking at sort of the the beta version of the game. Uh, I do a bit of you know a Zeta course, a competition. Um, but uh, I'm finding that there's a lot of interest in and around this game at the moment. Um, and again, if you're not really aware, it's a Brazilian developer who've effectively have taken the engine, the Madness engine from Project Cars 2 and taken a lot of the decent features of their first game and wrapped it all into a package. And as you can see from the video, this is roughly what you're getting at the moment. What you are getting, as you can see, is Monaco, uh, or Azure, or whatever they call it. And I'm driving the sort of 19, sort of 94, I think, car. It's actually in the Ferrari livery, and ahead is the McLaren livery. Now, these are custom liveries that have been downloaded, so they're not currently available in the game. But this, these two, uh, there's a Benetton as well, a thrown in, and a Williams, just to make it that extra, well, just makes it feel a tiny bit more realistic. But I thought, basically, we'd uh, get up to date with what's going on in the world of AMS2, what, they're, what, they, what they've added, what they've done, and um, while we can have a look in this VR mode around this circuit. Just from my understanding is that Riser, the developer, have said that they were on track to release the full game, so 1.0, around mid-June. We're pretty much around mid-June now, so they haven't said that they've delayed it any further. I mean, maybe with coronavirus we might be slipping a bit, who knows, but at the moment we're still looking at maybe a week or so from now a full release of this game so with that is going to come a host of other circuits some new cars and we'll also get maybe a better idea about all this DLC that's going to get added at some point in the meantime we've pretty much got a reasonably decent game in beta mode and one of the things which you probably can see from the title of the thumbnail is Thank God they have improved the braking. I can now head straight into a corner, hit the brake, and not have the brakes just lock up. Or I can hit the brakes and it's progressive braking. It, it isn't just nothing, nothing, brake lock up. So as far as I'm concerned, without real any changes to my force feedback or any sort of settings to my brakes, everything around the braking is looking good fantastic they've changed the AI strength and setting now and they recommend that you need to have it in the 90s so where I was running it I think a couple of weeks ago before these sort of updates I was running it in like the 70s but now we're in the 90s and in fact, I think I was running about 92, 93 and probably I could even up it even further because uh, I was still quicker than some of these cars uh, around Monaco. You can sort of see I'm a bit held up by this McLaren. 
but uh, it was a good good fight anyway because I was just trying to think of where I could pass it um, so the AI strength is well the AI as a whole is getting a lot lot better a lot better and uh, they're stronger and also when it comes to unfortunately you're probably not really going to see it in this video but it the the way the AI move around the circuit is a lot better as well it's less sort of processional it's more all over the place and although I think in my previous video I've mentioned it where it's got better every single update is bringing a far better AI and a far yeah just it is just far far better there's still a few corners where the AI seem to suddenly go really slow and you literally just zoom up behind them but that sort of balances out it would appear throughout the circuit so it's not too bad at all so um, if we just crack on basically with what we've got they haven't added any new cars and they've not added any new tracks over the last couple of weeks they've just been fiddling around with maybe the looks of certain individual cars um, you have to bear with me whilst I have a look through the release notes so they've changed things like for example fixed driver animation for the F trainer they've added wiper animations for the stock cars as well now uh, so that's good tracks Interlagos updated trackside cameras I don't know if you can see as well from this Monaco race that I've got going on here. The track, the, the track cameras actually look like pretty much what you'd see on TV. They're in the right position, as if these were TV cameras, which I think is absolutely fantastic, and it really does, in some parts, look almost real. I'm digressing, so I do apologise for that. Uh, what else have we got? So AI has been adjusted for uh, Adelaide, Azor, Montreal, uh, Londrina. So that's good. We've got some force feedback changes as well. What else? Uh, just having a quick look really. Yeah, so lots of work around the AI. Toned down the dirty low on the rear view mirrors. They've done that. Added suspension animation on the caterums. Good, good. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned in a previous video or whether or not it's come out in the last couple of updates, but you can now save the replay uh, and watch that another time and take photos from it. I can't remember if I've mentioned that, but that that's really handy, especially when I'm doing these videos as well, so I can put in the as you can see the, the left hand side I can add now the um, the actual TV camera replay as well um, a few little audio changes slight increase in bump noise uh, fixed excessive front brake and cooling on the caterums adjusted steel brake heating build up I think there was a few people with issues with brakes where they were just getting too hot and they were just um, just failing as well which uh, isn't really good so overall they're just small little small little changes which you wouldn't necessarily see but for those with keen eyes would actually see and it's not going to be until 1.0 comes out that we're going to see some big changes and I think that's going to be with things like liveries, some more cars, uh, a few, maybe a few more tracks. But certainly we're, we're well on our way. Also probably I'd, if I was you, I'd get rid of your force feedback settings um, text and just go with the default one because I found that to work really, really well and yeah we're uh, I think oh there's a speed limit change as well um, for some of the race series it's when you're in the pits so that's pretty much it now I don't want to make you guys feel too sick by watching this VR video but um, hopefully you found it quite entertaining 
to look at and I haven't, haven't sort of mumbled on too much. Just want to get this video out because it's been sat basically waiting forever and ever and I haven't got around to it because I'm just doing long days. So hopefully I might be, getting, might be able to get some other videos around soon. But until then, uh, coming on to the last corner and then we're done. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I promise I'll be back with some more very soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.